Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So once it's get uploaded, we have to click here to upload. So here we have to give transport request. Now if you have any transport request, we can place it. If not, we can use temp and say okay so once you say okay and it gets uploaded and you'll get an uploaded message too so the files which have been uploaded is my fury app one all this library web.xml view.xml controller.js detail view.js detail controller app controller etc formatter see once it's been it's not been uploaded because it's been binary format if you have any messages it comes like this so it's course we has not been created or else web.xml has not been uploaded that's the reason it's not been created so we'll go there and what we do is you have to go to create another session and you have to check what files have been uploaded if not we have to delete that and again we have to start from the scratch so we'll go to SCAT here C80 and I'm gonna see mm. Z my fury. You'll see it will be a fury application only my fury app. Okay, once you click on here, it will give you this. So it says only this, it's not created. So what we do is we delete this, delete this app here. If you delete this basement, yes, we want to delete it sometimes you'll get such errors so z my fury app was deleted that's clear now what we do is we go again to that particular session so which session this session will go repository load here so again we're gonna run this app this one program execute once you get execute you get this and you can upload here z my fury app new i'm taking and i'm going to execute this and i'm going to give a resource folder here and the workspace here and i'm going to give the workspace here that is nothing but a cpu fi workspace in here my fury exists so i have to click on web content always good to have a web content because the web content is almost like maybe 16 kb or something in the same that web content so the list of files will be displayed here so the files which are in that web content it will be displayed here so once it's displayed then you can give the description of this see the description of this files will be then and you have to double click this so again you'll get the description it's a demo app for my fury okay demo app for my fury for my fury and then here what you have to do is you have to give the package name so if you have any package you can or you can have a dollar tmp that's a temporary local object if you have any package you can package so what you do is when you deploy sap ufi application with this package you will be transporting to one system to another system so if you want to maintain anything you can but now i don't want to maintain anything i want to do a dollar temp only and i give okay so when i say okay then it should get uploaded so it takes some time and you have given description and the package and if you have any transport request you can give transport request so which files will be getting uploaded this web.xml master view.xml master controller line item c it says uploaded finish so once it says uploaded finish then your things is your app is uploaded successfully so now what you're gonna do is you have to go to SCAT the transaction code remember SCAT SEAT so when you press SCAT you'll come to this particular repository and then what you have to do is you have to write your application name here you have to select from this drop down VSP app click it and select after selection you have to use Z my fury app new so it will get you the link of that new one and 
double click it then after double clicking you will be getting these two options so one is index.html and the one is your file so your files are already here so component.js when you click on this you double click on this it will give you the editor so if you want to edit it you can directly click on this edit button and you can edit this okay so here i want to write a note say abap workbench code okay i'm going to save this control s is to save and after saving we have to activate then your code will be changed like this here we can change it so what we have to do is now we have to run this application we successfully deployed now locally we have developed the application and after developing the application we have placed it in the abap repository now so your application is here z my fury app new now what we have to do is we have to run this application now right click this and you'll get an option called test and you can test this directly when you test it will open it in a press enter once i press enter it will upload the page but it says my fury app index.html doesn't exist so we have to see why it is not uploaded so we have to change the url so how do you change the url is we have to go to the logout and fs1 this one and we have to go to the properties so we have 54 173 87 98 this is the one which we have to use so it doesn't have any all right that's what it says so usually we run this application like this there is no index.html or something so I refresh this no it's not working so what we do is it's a sap uf application the link is always not bsp it is sap underscore UI file. Okay, once we have done it, so let me check that. So we have separate URLs. There is some URL problem with this. So so in this here we will be putting my fury. My fury app new. So I'm going to refresh this. Yeah, this is the correct URL. So you have to ask your administrator which is the correct URL. So usually it should come, but usually this is a URL. SAP slash BC slash UI5 underscore UI5 SAP underscore Z my fury app. So this is your app. See, this is your app is coming here. So once you click here, your detail page comes. So this application you'll be going to your Fury consultant. So Fury consultant will be deploying your application in Fury Launchpad so now is it clear now see the url is changed it's somewhere this gives you so first what you have done is you have developed your application in fury sorry in your eclipse local system and then what you have done is you have deployed it in your sap system so once your sap system you went here so i'll exit it i'll come to the normal yeah from here you have placed sc38 and press enter and after pressing that yet you have placed slash ui5 slash ui5 underscore repository load okay and this is how you deploy it and then you say debugging execute once you execute you'll get this now you have uploaded like this the similarly you can download and delete it so i want to download it so i'll be what i'm going to do is here i'm going to give z my fury you have to remember your application name app new and then i'm going to give execute clear you have to click on download option and then you have to give this z my fury app new and then you have to execute and it will ask where you want to place it so i want to place it in the training tutorial so inside the training tutorial i'm going to have this training tutorial i'm going to create a new folder make a new folder called your abap z fury abap fury app i'm going to select this and then 
double click this and say OK and your application gets, gets downloaded there. So these are all the files it will get downloaded because we have made one change in component.js that has to be there. So once we download, it will ask is external code page, no. And you can press OK. That external code page is for some external links if you want to download it to. Okay, if you want to enter any parameters, you can enter the parameters. See, here it will say 1.160 bytes has been transferred. So it, your file is now almost like one MB file. Okay, and then you have to go to your SAP UFF training in this C, ABAP Fury. So once you click on this, your files gets uploaded. See, today, the date, it's been uploaded. So you can right click this and you can edit with notepad plus plus then you'll see see a bad page code this is how you download it similarly now you can delete this just click here and make sure that before deleting it you have to close other sessions where you are editing it see here i'm editing it i can't delete it now so you have to exit this so you have to say here click on stop transaction so i'm going to stop this transaction and i'm going to close it so i have closed that window so now it has to delete why i have set prompt stop transaction if you are running any transaction there you can stop that if not you can directly close that window so now i am going to delete it execute once i say execute it click here to delete click here double click so once you double click they don't have any temporary entry yeah it will be deleted now after deleting i want to check whether my application is there or not so i already have an url first i'll run that so this is the same url right so i'm going to refresh it it shouldn't work see i have to see no it's not wrong so it's successfully deleted browser and we can go into the system also and check we'll create a new session so this is our create a new session so once you create a new session you go to SCAT here SCAT and press enter so once you press enter this will be coming and go to this classes so here you have a BSP application. So once you click on BSP application, you get see G My Fury app new. So you want to check, click on that and see whether it is existing or not. See the BSP application this doesn't exist. You want to create it? Yes or no? No, I don't want to create it now. I wanted to check whether it is existing or not. So with this message, it is clear that it is not existing in this BSP list. So it is successfully deleted so after deleting you have to check it like this so this is how you gonna upload your sap uf application once you develop and once you develop you can run it test it so after testing it you can edit it also so after go to that particular file location and you can edit it how we have edited in component.js so similarly, you can delete it. So how are you gonna delete? Like that, you're gonna delete it. So you have to go to this particular session and you can delete it. So this is how you will be deploying SAP UI file application on a BAP system and then you'll update and delete. So all operations is possible. So thank you, thank you for listening. And in the next session, we'll see some other topics. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.